Good day, welcome to King Williams Everything. Today let's look at Bleach Bit Portable for Windows, uh, fully endorsed by Hillary Clinton. And what's nice about Bleach Bit Portable, as opposed to just plain Bleach, bleach Bit, is it's portable. So you don't have to do an install, you can put it on a thumb drive, you can carry it with you. You can uh, go to a customer site, there's a friend's house, plug it in, no install, run it, you're done. So it kind of makes um, a little easier and especially if you want to like hide your tracks a little bit more you don't want to have bleach bit on there yeah you might not want uh, somebody else running it because you don't want to delete your history things like that sometimes the passwords will get deleted so you know you can just do it and i, I do it when i go to different uh, different sites sometimes i have a you know just to get some free disk space uh you know people that have a computer for five years never did any maintenance to it so there might be you know especially if you know if you want to run uh, like a virus scan and it's going to take you know seven hours well you can do this delete you know four or five gig of files and cut off a huge chunk of time of a scan or even uh, uh, like a defrag or something like that and it does a really good job at doing what it does it deletes files that you don't no longer need so temp files um, uh, history um, caches those kind of things and we'll go through it a little farther in the video but first let's go to the website and take a look at how you download it and where it's at Okay, so let's go to the internet, and we're going to do a little search for Bleach Bit Portable. So Bleach Bit Portable. And you can see where it's at, it's actually at portableapps.com. And there's uh, other apps that they've created. They took uh, full installs and made a little portable version, so you don't do the install. So let's click on Mr. Download from SourceForge. I was wondering why it takes so long. Four seconds, three seconds, two, one. Why do they make you wait? And we'll do a save. And it's thinking and it's done. So it's a small, small little application. Okay. Yeah, let's play with Bleach Bit. So you can kind of see what it can do. Uh, by default, there's some things that are checked. You can check some things, uncheck other things. There's um uh, cleaners for uh, Adobe Reader, some deep scan stuff. Uh, there's Adobe Reader, deep scan, so backup files, temp files. That temp files will probably get rid of a lot of free up a lot of space. And if you want to do Firefox, you can pick and choose what you want to clean on Firefox and check them off if you want. I always like to keep like um, uh, passwords and stuff like that, just in case. But maybe you don't want to. Uh, Flash, Internet Explorer. Uh, there's Skype. And see so if you click on one of these, it kind of shows you all the all the options. Or what each one will do so you know click on any one under like Internet Explorer it'll give you a list of those one two three four four options and tell you what's going to clean so if you don't not, not sure what it is you know you can you can read that and maybe oh I want that and you can see you can do Skype chat logs installers uh, you can do the system so clipboard um, uh, memory dumps and stuff like that here's free disk space this is Hillary Clinton's favorite thing and overwrite free to space to hide deleted files uh, kind of what that does basically um, let's say you have want to delete a bunch of files but you don't want to be able to recover them you throw them in the trash well you can still recover what it, Windows does even Linux it's just a pointer to that file so when you say delete it deletes that way right. sometimes you know you delete like a, say a gig of files and it deletes it in a second well it's just that pointer so what this does it kind of overwrites that file or all the free space so it makes it hard to recover and uh, that's basically what uh, a lot of these uh, like seed cleaner uh, does the same thing and this guy does the same thing too and that's kind of what Hillary did to hide what she deleted specifically emails bad Hillary and let's see the free disk you can see there's some other things in here let's go down a more uh, Windows Defender that's something you won't see in the Linux version uh, so you got the Windows Defender history and some other you know recent searches and stuff like that so that's basically what this guy's gonna do and you can do a couple things to do clean without checking anything um, you can do uh, a preview and the preview will let you it'll, it'll kind of go through like it's gonna do the clean and <clears throat> kind of give you like a preview of what you're gonna save I'm just gonna do the clean I know what I got It's cleaning, it's thinking, it's thinking. And you kind of see at the bottom, I cleaned 80 mega files. 
Uh, I've done this other cleaners already, so I'm not going to get as much space as you might, especially if you never to clean your computer. You might get like 5 gig, 10 gig, 1 gig, you know, 100 meg. It's just different depending on what you want, what's, what's going to get cleaned. But since I, I've done stuff like this before, I have any make. So even, even you know, like say you got a hard drive or an SSD that has, um, you know, you start to run low on space. Well, um, this is a good thing to run because one, you're going to free up a lot of crap. You know, all the temp files that really are not being cleaned up. You know, especially, like I said, if you're, say you got like one gig left of space on your hard drive, run this. And you'd be surprised at how much data or how much free space you're going to get back. Because uh, over time, you know, download histories, Firefox, and Explorer, all that crap just kind of piles on. It does some maintenance, but a lot of maintenance really never ever gets done. But, um, and you kind of see, or we're scrolling through here, it, it kind of gives you on the, on the right hand side here, it kind of shows you uh, how much of each one uh, space was being used. So you kind of give it like a little, even when you do the preview, it'll show you this. Uh, I already did the clean, so it's just kind of showing that, hey, this part it cleaned up 70 meg, this part 18 meg. So it's kind of nice that they're going to show you that. I always like to do the preview uh, just in case, you know, you want to see what's going to happen because it's, hey, maybe I don't want my passwords being deleted. And you can uncheck that. But uh, free disk is kind of the uh, probably the main reason why people get this. Uh, a lot of people use CCleaner, and we might do a video on that later on, but uh, CCleaner does the same thing. Much prettier. I think it cleans some more things, some more options. There's like register cleaning and crap like that. Um, but uh, one of the things they do on their installer, they put like Google Chrome. They try to put some other things in there because um, that's how they give away for free because you install this, they get paid to do that. And they also have a paid version where this one's just basically a free version. So uh, this one's fairly, fairly safe to, put, to install. It's a really good program. Uh, I don't use it that often, but, you know, once in a while it's not, need to run it because it's a gig. And, you know, like, especially if you have like a smaller SSD drive on your or laptop. Uh, you know, sometimes you start dumping pictures and pictures and pictures and deleting things, and now you're getting low on disk space. You know, run this. You'd be surprised how much uh, data you're going to clean up. But uh, basically, that's um, uh, Bleach Bit. And like I said, this is the portable version, so it's neat about it. You can put it on a thumb drive, put it on a CD, whatever you like. Uh, go in, plug in somebody's laptop, run it. No install, easy. Unplug it, it's done. So it's good, you know, it's like, like if you got a, a you know, friend that's having some slowness problems, you can clean up their hard drive for them. Um, so it works really well for that. That's basically what I, how I do it. Um, like I said, CCleaner is a nice one, but uh, this one's simple, fast, uh, and it's free. You can't go wrong. So anyway, that's CCleaner. Anyway, that's Bleach Bit Portable. Yeah, go to uh, portableapps.com and get yourself a copy. And anyway... Uh, have a great day.